Hello everyone, this was an impromptu video, so I did something different this year that I'd never done before uh, and that is I planted beans in pots before I planted them outside and the reason why I did that is because I want to order compost and put it into the into our raised beds but the compost does not come until April that's when they get it to ship it to their store and then from there we have to wait for them to get it to us and then put it into our raised beds so that's a long process and fava beans are cold hardy um, they're frost hardy so I thought I plant them in the pots now and then um, when I'm ready I could transfer them outside right now they are in two inch cells so I'm going to pot them up into four inch containers and just these little things over here um, it's a little bit bigger a little more soil so they have more space to grow and hopefully hopefully that will hold them off until we are ready to plant them in the soil um, now today is March 25th and um, I think March 25th or 26th I'm not sure uh, anyway, so I had my fava beans planted along with other stuff. I probably should have planted them all in the same tray. They would have taken more than one tray anyways. Uh, but over here I also have some tomato plants of different varieties. Uh, two plants of each variety. It looks like one of them hasn't popped up yet. The black strawberry tomato. And um, over here I also have some cauliflower and cabbage. Red Cabbage Express. Now I know I said in, in, earlier, in an earlier video that I will not be planting cauliflower uh, in the spring but I wanted to try it out and see if I planted it inside and then put it outside what would happen um, because then I would be able to plant it, plant it a little earlier because it would have the time to germinate a lot quicker than if I were to plant it outside because it's in a warmer soil so it would take a lot less uh, time for it to germinate rather than it being outside and definitely I would have to harden all these uh, before I put them outside the tomatoes are going to be uh, also potted up but they're not going to go outside until we are our frost is over and over here it is around um, they say that you can plant outside um, on Mother's Day uh, no sorry not Mother's Day Memorial Day um, that's usually what we go uh, with but sometimes we do get some cold temperatures what I can do if my tomato plants are not super tall is just uh, put like a um, um, a water jug over them that's cut kind of like a mini greenhouse over them um, or I could wait a little longer to plant them because when I was looking for this year's frost uh, date uh, the last frost date was like um, June 4th or something like that so this year it looks like we're having a really uh, short growing season but we'll see because sometimes you know it changes from year to year um, but I could just like I said plant them and put something over them to protect them or um, I am going to be using the hoops over my I mentioned earlier in a different video that we bought hoops so I'm going to be using these hoops over my uh, the things that are prone to aphids and cabbage moth and stuff like that so that would be fava beans and cabbage and um, all the brassica family yeah so right now let's start potting up <laughs> and uh, see what we can do let me just bring you a little bit closer over here um, just so, so that you guys can see what's happening here. So these are my tomato seedlings over here. This one, black strawberry tomato did not pop up yet. And these are the fava beans. They grow so fast. So if you do plant them inside, just keep that in mind. Um, they grow super tall and super fast very quickly. Um, and now the tomatoes and my uh, broccoli are a little bit uh, laggy just because I had to move my beans to a place where they could uh, where the light is a bit higher so 
that they're not touching the light and uh, because if they do touch the light they can burn like over here and um, also you know they'll get all bent over and stuff and so the tomatoes and the cauliflower over here had to stretch out a little bit so that they could reach the light a bit easier but you could see over here these are all the um, the fava beans and I love fava beans especially when they're green uh, you can eat them raw just as long as you're not allergic to them um, and, and but you can't eat too much of them you know because they can hurt you if you do and also you could cook the green ones I find the green ones taste better than the uh, dried ones uh, they're my favorite in cooking yep so let's pot them up and uh, hopefully plant some more seeds because I have plenty more seeds to plant so over here I have this um, organic potting soil um, and I'm gonna fill these uh, containers with it um, I do prefer the, the I have some other containers that are a bit more sturdy or a lot more sturdy they, they can was they can last for several years these just this is their uh, second season that I've used them I now granted I didn't take care of them but they are very like flimsy they're not strong and I had them stored in our barn and uh, they're not like they're not the best quality but they are cheap they were cheap when I bought them I don't know how much they are right now but the nice thing about these is that you can put them in like for example if I wanted to which I'm not going to do that but if I wanted to I can put them over here pretty easy uh, pretty easily or in a just a tray that can hold a bit of water if I want to water them from below um, they you could also buy those separately and um, you could probably fit like two or three over here on this tray and um, that would just be like easier for you to care for. Uh, the round ones, which are the other ones that I have that are more sturdy, um, make it more difficult for you to do so. But they are nice because they can last for uh, many seasons and um, you don't have to replace them. What I do is I just uh, soak them in a water and bleach solution. solution. I just dump some bleach in a big bucket of water and I let them soak in it and then I rinse them out. That's how, uh, what I do with everything. So let's just fill these up now. I'm gonna need my gloves. <laughs> and the nice thing about the other ones also is that I could just take it and scoop the dirt into it. With these, I can't do that because they're very flimsy. I have to, um, I have to uh, take the dirt with my hand and put it into it like this so that I don't break it and I'm not moistening the dirt because it's this dirt came in the bag already a little bit moist so I don't have to pre-moisten it um, it's not super dry let's grab them yeah, so this is what I did I had them in this bucket And this, the bleach and water solution just gets rid of um, any fungus or mold or insects that might be living in there. Because you never know um, what's in there. So you're just basically giving your seedlings a better chance at survival. So I gotta hurry and I quit chatting because my toddler is sleeping and when she wakes up, this task is going to be a lot more difficult.
I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have 23 um, ones filled. I ran out of dirt over here. Um, I have more dirt, but soil. But um, I'm going to start with the fava beans right now. So I'm going to try using this glove, uh, this plastic spoon over here so that I could take the uh, fava beans out of their tray. I don't know if you guys can see. So I'm just going to stick it at the edge of the cell. Actually, I'm going to grab a probably a plastic knife because this is scooping the dirt out and I don't want to I don't want to rip any roots. Got a knife. Let's do this. Actually, you know what? There's something that's really cool, but I'm not sure if people are aware of it. But this is what you use it for. But you see these over here. Um, if you flip it, so this is what the uh, wicking mat sits over, like that. Okay, and it keeps it away from the water, it lifts it off, and the sides of the wicking mat sit in the water and absorb the water into the tray, um, into the cells. Now if you flip this this way, and you put your, um, there, there is a hole in, the, in each cell over here that these uh, spikes or whatever you, I don't know what their name is, if you put them in there, they push the cells up the, and all the dirt and everything, but I don't want to do it because the roots of these beans are um, like pretty uh, deep down there. They're sticking out of the cell. Maybe I'll do it with one that isn't super. Let me see if I can do it with just one. I don't want to break the root. No, I'm not going to be able to do it. So basically, these would do this. They push it up and out if I can do it. <laughs> what I'm trying to do with the spoon. Okay, it's not working <laughs> because the roots of these beans are so deep even though they just like sprouted in a few days and they're like growing like crazy. So, can you see the roots down there? Yeah. Yeah, but basically, let me get it closer. Basically, you just like put these into the holes if you can fit it into the holes. Whoop. There we go. So basically you put these into the holes and then you push down on the tray. You have this on a level surface and it pops up all the cells out of the tray and then you can easily transplant them into something that's larger. So that's pretty clever. But <laughs> So far, I've never used it that way because I always have like different things planted in there and sometimes I start new seedlings in there. Like, you know, for example, when I remove the fava beans from here, I'm gonna be putting some more um, seed starting mix in here and planting some other stuff in there. Um, just because it'll allow me to use less space in my lights, uh, light system. Um, it won't take up as much space because um, then I won't have like so many trays and trays with empty cells in them. That just doesn't make sense for me. All right, so let's do this. Wow, look at these roots. You guys have to see this. <laughs> a 
Oops, I'm dropping dirt everywhere. I'm gonna have to clean up right after this. So this is crazy. This is just like a few days of fava beans sprouting in the um, cells. That's why you wanna plant beans outside. But I'm just doing an experiment to see would this work? <laughs> and if it does, I'll probably do it a lot more often um, because this will extend my growing season and or I can just put hoops outside. Um, but the problem with that is uh, our springs are so wet and our soil gets so wet. So I worry about things rotting in the soil. That's why I um, can't plant super early outside um, because our soil is super wet and if I put fava beans in the soil they're definitely gonna rot and most likely not gonna sprout okay so you want to plant it where like the white of the fava bean is like right here that's where you know this is where it was covered in the soil you don't want to plant it any deeper because it might rot take some of this soil over here or all of it and put it back in here saying something and then I interrupted myself and I have no idea what I was saying. <laughs> I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments below. <laughs> oh. One down. I don't know how many to go. <laughs> so you can see. It's gonna have a little bit more space to grow before I get to plant it outside. Ooh. Look at these roots. <laughs> Crazy. So fava beans also have a lot of nitrogen in their roots along with their leaves as well. Uh, so if you uh, have planted something in that area before where it would take a lot of uh, take up takes up a lot of nitrogen, for example, like kale and spinach and uh, spinach and all the leafy greens. Uh, you want to plant something that would replenish the soil with nitrogen and beans are one main thing that can do that for you and fava beans especially they have these uh, nodules of uh, nodules? is that what, how you say it? I don't know anyways but they have like these little circular things that are attached to their roots that are full of nitrogen and if you take the leaves also and put them into your compost pile or dig, till them back into the soil as long as they're not plagued with aphid or any, aphids or anything like that you can get um, a lot of nitrogen back into your soil uh, and that is uh, one way you can do crop rotation in a successful way so that you can have a he healthy plants and where something would take something out of this one thing out of the soil and another plant would replenish it back. So fava beans do not take up a lot of nitrogen from the soil. They give more nitrogen into the soil than they take. So um, you would plant them 
after you plant something that takes up a lot of nitrogen from the soil. Alright, so uh, I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm probably going to turn off the camera and then I'll get back to you because this is going to take me <laughs> a while. Oh, this one is a bit root bound. Uh oh, I don't want to break the roots though. It's too young. I don't want to. I'm not going to risk it. You stay back in here. This reminds me of my childhood. It's like making mess with dirt. It's so fun. <laughs> if you have never played with dirt, you need to. Especially potting soil, it feels so nice. Really is so therapeutic. This pot is almost over. <laughs> I mean, filled, not over. You're over. Yeah. I'm probably gonna fertilize them right away because I haven't fertilized them this week yet. So, they'll get a good, actually I don't think I have fertilized them at all yet, yes that's true because they are all like, they haven't, yeah, so yeah, I'm going to be fertilizing them this week, I haven't fertilized them yet, and they should do better, or, I mean, they're doing amazing, but... <laughs> So these are all the fava bean plants. They're they are all they have all been potted up, and um, hopefully I will be able to plant them outside soon. I still have a lot of seeds to pot up and more seeds to plant, but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing over here. Um, I think uh, one thing that I was trying to say earlier, and I totally forgot what I was saying, was that I planted in each of the two inch cells. I planted. Uh, you're gonna see my kids boots over there um, <laughs> in each of the two inch cells I planted one fava bean because they're really large beans and as you can see they grow so big and the roots are massive uh, so if you are going to plant beans in cells like I did or you can also plant them in these things right away um, just plant one plant um, one seed uh, in each pot so that you don't end up with like um, you know roots being tangled because I do separate my seedlings I, um, I pot them up and I separate them I don't like to lose seedlings I it's kind of like um, a good use of the space oh look I have three plants over here <laughs> um, instead of you know just uh, losing those plants those seedlings uh, you're gaining more plants that way um, and in a less space it's more efficient that way um, so like I said earlier this is my first time doing this I've never planted beans in cells before I've always planted them outside and like I said earlier also <laughs> is that our soil gets super wet outside and I'm gonna be getting compost so that's the reason why I planted them here so to the, the raised beds are basically going to be covered with a thick layer of compost and if I plant the plants now in the, in the raised beds they're going to be um, they're going to rot at the bottom because of all the, the soil that's going to be surrounding them uh, so my hopes is that we're going to be able to get the compost pretty soon and put it in the raised beds and I'll be able to plant these outside pretty soon if not I'll have to figure out what to do with them <laughs> because they're gigantic um, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, just uh, pray that I get compost for it very soon, okay? Um, and I'll take you guys with me on this journey and see how this works out. And if it works out well, I'll probably do it every year from now on. Because really it's gaining me some time um, because of our conditions, uh, our wet spring. Um, and it's allowing my file beans to grow a lot faster and everything else really because like I said a lot of my seeds rot in there and it just takes them longer to germinate outside because if the weather is the weather is cold, cold the soil is cold um, and um, 
what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, so I forgot what I was going to say, as usual. <laughs> So, uh, if you guys are interested in more gardening videos, I will be leaving a playlist right over here. You can check it out. And uh, thank you for watching um, on this impromptu video, and I hope this was helpful to you. I'll see you again next time. Bye. <laughs> yeah.